Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a highly requested video and I asked if you guys wanted to see this and loads of you said yes. And as you can tell by the title, it is a how to apply mink lashes tutorial. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the tips and tricks I take to make things one, a lot more comfortable for myself, two, a lot more easier for myself, and three, just my general tips on application. So I'm gonna take you step by step from even how to take them out of the packet, because sometimes that is one of the most difficult parts, um, to cutting, applying the glue, all that good stuff. The lashes I am using are from Velour, and I do have a discount code, and I will leave it down below if you guys want to get your hands on these ones as well, or the glue, or anything that I use in the video. Use the code to get some money off. But yeah, if you guys want to see how to apply mink lashes, then keep on watching. Okay, so to start off with, I think actually something that's quite difficult can be actually getting the lashes out of the packaging, because as you know, mink lashes are really more delicate than like the ones that you get from well the ones that aren't made of like actual hair so you have to be really delicate with these because the hair can be really easy to fall out so the way I like to do it is open the packet the ones that I've decided to use are the winging style from Velour they're one of my all-time favorites so it comes like this and this string here helps you obviously to get this bit of plastic out which I would recommend doing. And then a lot of people I find, let me get rid of the box. A lot of people are, you have to ignore my two broken nails. Okay, we're over it. Um, a lot of people I think try and like pick at this bit with their fingers and try and peel it off. But I found a more effective way to be using tweezers. So these tweezers are just, I think these were just from Boots or something like that. So what I like to do is bend the plastic like so so this doesn't damage the lashes at all they're obviously on a really flexible band so this makes it a bit easier for me to use the tweezers and to pick and peel it off like that And then that's the other. Now on to trimming your lashes. So this is my eye makeup and I currently don't have any mascara on because with a brand new pair of lashes, what I like to do is normally, normally they are too long for my eye. I already know that I'm gonna be chopping off this tiny bit here and this tiny bit here. And then it's just a matter of fact of whether or not I need to chop off any of the actual lashes. So what I like to do is just sit the lash on my eye and place the shortest end exactly where I would want it to sit on my eye and then I know if I need to cut any more off that's coming from this side. So I just pop the lashes on how I'd want them to look and I can tell they're just a tiny bit too long on this side so I'm going to cut off this segment here because that bit was just hanging off my eye. So taking um, some little scissors. These are from Hobbycraft. I thought they were so cute. Just taking the lash. So like I said, I already knew that that bit was coming off and now I know that I just need to chop off one of the segments. So like that. And then just chopping off this tiny little bit in the inner corner there. Like that. And I'm going to do the same with the other one as well and then I'll get on to application. So now what I'm going to do is just apply a light coat of mascara and I'm going to use my favourite mascara which is, as you guys probably know by now, the MAC Extended Play. Just because the formula of this one's really dry and doesn't, well not really dry but uh, it's not as moussey as some other mascaras. And I find it just applies the perfect amount without really, really coating my lashes. And I feel when you're applying false lashes you really don't want a ton of mascara underneath because that's when it starts to look really noticeable so I'm just applying um, mascara first with mink lashes I probably wouldn't recommend applying them afterwards because you want to preserve them as long as possible and mascara can kind of not damage them but ruin them slightly so I'm just applying a light coat of mascara to my top lashes so after doing that it is time for application and I think this is what most people struggle with especially with a brand new pair of lashes so the two lash glues I have, they are both um, by Velour, they are in white and black. 
For this one I am going to use white just so you can really see what I'm doing. But the black one is amazing especially with eye looks like this where you've got quite a thick liner on for being really subtle. Especially if you're in a rush and you don't have time for your lash glue to dry before you leave the house. Black is really good in terms of, like I said, it being really subtle and unnoticeable. But obviously as you know white dries clear. You can use any one you want. Um... But this one I found to be amazing. And it's got a little flat applicator which makes um, applying the product on the lashes so much easier. So what I like to do is take my lash like this. The glue works by twisting and it just applies a bit like that. And then onto the lash just lightly coat it. like so so just a thin amount like this and the key especially with brand new lashes is patience i'm now going to wait about 40 or so seconds so the glue has a chance to get tacky this will make things so 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 much easier for yourself when it comes to applying the lashes if you were to apply it straight away like this you'd find the lash slipping and sliding about on your eye and that just makes it a hundred times more difficult for yourself so i'm gonna wait about another 30 seconds before actually applying it onto my eye so now on to application what i like to do is take the lash and take a pair of tweezers and just grasp them in the middle like that after you've let the glue dry for um, 40 seconds to a minute, placing it down in the center, then dragging it down on the outside, and then dragging it down on the inside. Also another tip, so obviously this glue has completely dried on this side now, just taking your fingers and just clumping your lashes and the fake lashes together just like that just ensures that they're really really um kind of glued gl it's glued down and they're gonna be staying on because you don't want flapping lashes about so that just really helps to ensure that they stay together because mascara is actually quite sticky so it does act as a bit of an adhesive if you really press it down together so it really helps them to stay and last as long but I find this glue to be incredible anyway so I never really have that issue but yeah just a tip if you find that they ping off maybe sort of after um a few hours that really helps just really pressing the lash and your lashes together so this is what they should look like once the eye has dried i find that to be the easiest technique honestly practice 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 when it comes to lashes having these lashes that have a firmer lash band um to me make things a lot easier in terms of you can be kind of quite firm with your tweezers when dragging them down and stuff like that um, with more flimsy ones that's when they can tend to move about but then like I said the key for that is just let the glue dry for ages like not like an hour or so but literally 40 seconds to a minute so it gets really tacky placing it down in the center of the lash and then dragging it down either side it makes things so much easier I've watched my friends do it and I watch them start from here and then try and drag it down and that's when things start to move and they get complicated so honestly work from the center and then work in and out because once you put it in the center you can you do have a bit of freedom like if you realize you need to kind of drag it down that way slightly a bit more it'll move and then you can drag it down there decent pair of tweezers as well and that just makes things so 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 much easier for yourself so that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new. I know it was quite quick, but um, I feel like people think lashes can be a lot more difficult than it really is to apply. So these are just the ways that I like to apply them and the quickest method. And I know mink lashes can be quite um, scary for some people just because the lash band's a lot thicker than um, the kind of like synthetic lashes that you can get. So people think that they're a lot more difficult to wear and a lot uh, um, are less comfortable. So the ways that I've hopefully the ways that i've shown you how to do it make things a lot easier for you and you guys give them a try for lure lashes i know a lot of people um get a bit funny about mink lashes in terms of cruelty to animals and stuff like that but if you go onto their website and you read all about it you will see that the lure lashes no animals are harmed or anything like that otherwise i wouldn't wear them as you guys know i have a discount code with velour so if you guys wanted to try these lashes or any of the um any of their other lashes these ones are my fave as well as what the fluff 
and the, Car the Carly Lash, the T.O. Any ones that have a wing, I'm in love with. You guys have to try them. And like I said, you can use my code Rachel Leary for money off. So I will leave all that information in the description bar below. Definitely recommend getting their glue as well if you're looking for a decent lash glue, especially if you find that's something that you struggle with. Because I used to use the one where you squeeze it out the tube, and I'd find that the glue would just go everywhere, and I've wasted the whole tube and it smells as well so the kind of applicator on that one is so easy especially for beginners if you're just trying to try it out um it doesn't let you apply too much product as well but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned some tips and makes it a lot easier for you to apply lashes so give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these kind of how-to videos and if you want to see any more in the future and also let me know if you want to see a tutorial for this look. I use the Morphe 350 palette. I know that's really hard to get hold of at the moment. So I kind of didn't film a look for it. But if you guys want to see it, I'm more than happy to do it. But yeah, so give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram at Rach Leary and my Twitter at Rach underscore Leary. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.